What up, what up, what up? It's your man Philly Nate. Sit back and relax. Stay tuned for the weekend lift. Welcome back, ladies and gents. It's your man, Nate. And um, look, just had my first threesome. Just had my first threesome with Uber. Look, get your mind out the gutter, okay? I'm not talking about that threesome. What I'm talking about is a threesome where I did Uber pool and I picked up three individuals, okay? Look, y'all can call me whatever, but I didn't even know Uber pool went that far, okay? I thought after you did two, then you were done, okay? But I picked up one, then I picked up another, then I picked up another. So this car was full with people going to different destinations. Now, if that happens, I can see Uber pool being worth it because now you're getting three different fares, okay? But you kind of got to take the good with the bad with this Uber pool because a lot of times you'll have only one person okay and if it's if you, and if you only do it one person it's not worth it man so it's kind of a give or take uber pool right now the way that i feel it's a give and take okay i try not to do uber pools i'm gonna just say that out the jump i try not to do uber pools okay but if you have it where you got three individual fares okay i can see it being worth it but if it's just one it's not okay um so that's that what's been going on with the lift zone make sure you check out liftzone.com okay we, we got the liftzone.com popping um now i want to talk about business models okay because on my timeline i do see a lot of negative nancy's um and we're talking about different things that I think that we're talking without knowledge okay you got three different business models you got the employer the employee relationship you got the partnership and then you got ownership okay now the employee employer kind of deal that's the safe place okay but that's the place where you're not going to make a whole lot of money here yeah, there's physicians um, there's different employees that make a lot of money but number one they're taxed the most out of all of these out of these genres okay but and but it's the safest so you know what they say risk to reward relationship so not saying nothing wrong with having a job like Dame Dash okay Dame Dash says some other things on uh, on uh, the breakfast club and you go check that out if you want to okay but having a job is okay I have a job okay but just know you're probably not going to see a lot of money from that okay so you got the job basis no one says oh this is a, a, a scam to where you're working for somebody for 20 years and you get to live on a third of what you made over your lifetime until you die no one calls that a scam okay then you have business ownership business ownership is the most risk okay because it's it's all you so the business, the uh, risk to reward, the risk is more, but the reward is more, okay? And most people, including myself, I don't have money right now to open, um, just say like a, 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 a Staples or something like that, a franchise or, or something like that, okay? I don't have the money for that, okay? So that's the other business model, ownership. And those are the people that make the most money, okay? The people that own stuff, okay? Um, then you have what somebody might say kind of in between is partnership, okay? Partnership. That's where somebody, your partners, you, you know what partners mean, okay? So when dealing with this Uber, it's a partnership. It's a partnership. Uber has laid the foundation, or Lyft, Lyft or Uber. Lyft or Uber has laid the foundation. Lyft or Uber has laid the infrastructure they giving you the platform okay they giving you the platform and they're partnering with you because you're the one 
that takes on some risk too. They've taken on risk by building the platform, doing the things that they gotta do, paying the, the lawyers to make it legal, blah, 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 um, to have the platform. So they took the risk of doing, of making the platform, coming up with it, and coming up with the money to build the infrastructure. Now you're the person, you're the other partner on this side who is actually doing the driving. So yes, okay, you gotta think a little bit. What's my business strategy, okay? What's my business strategy? How do I do this? How do, it's not going to be just laid out for you because if it's going to be laid out for you, then it's easy because you get paid based on the problem that you solve. And if it's laid out for you, you can get anybody to do that, which means what? You're not going to get paid a whole lot, okay? But with Uber and Lyft, or let's just say ride sharing, it's not laid out for you to say, okay, you drive right here and you'll get paid X amount. You drive right here and you're gonna get paid X amount. No, you gotta figure it out. So when you figure it out, the people who, who have figured it out, they get paid, okay? The people who don't figure it out say, oh, it's a scam. I turned on my car and I didn't get any hits. Uh, uh, there's, there's money to be made out here. There's a lot of money to be made out here, but sitting up here crying about it ain't gonna get you paid. What's gonna get you paid is go to my um, my Lift Zone channel and watch the different videos, and not just me. Type in Uber, type in ride sharing into uh, YouTube, type in Lift, and watch those videos. Learn. Learn, because in most fields, and this just isn't ride sharing, the smartest person, meaning what? The person who knows the most gets paid the most. I'm gonna say that for you for the people that missed it. The one who knows the most, in most cases gets paid the most. And ride sharing is just like that, okay? Because it's not just about driving, it's about more than driving. And, and I've expressed this in some of my other videos. There's other business opportunities Besides just driving, there's referrals, okay? Number one, there is, um, as far as driving and as far as people signing up with Uber or Lyft, it's a partnership, okay? When people get into your car, if you have other businesses, you have their captivated attention for 10 to 15 minutes on average. This is an advertisement, an advertiser's dream. You gotta capitalize on the opportunities, man. This life is about opportunities. And if you out there driving and your mindset is just, oh, I'm just driving from point A to point B, you're missing it. You're missing it. What type of research are you doing? What type of research are you doing? Okay, a lot of people are over here. There's college students over here. Um, there's nobody over here. I've been sitting for 15 minutes. Should, should I? You need to research this. You need to map things out, okay? And if you need help with that, man, go to YouTube. Go to YouTube and type in what you're looking to understand. Type in what you don't understand, okay? Because this, again, this ride sharing, and get the back to my point, is that this ride sharing is a partnership. It's a partnership between you and Uber, between you and Lyft. And if you don't take advantage of it, that's not Uber's fault. If you don't take advantage of it, that's not Lyft's fault. That's your fault. That's your fault. So, again, we got employee, employers, we got partnerships, we got business owners, okay? And yeah, it would be love if you owned, I bet you if you owned Uber, you wouldn't be calling it a scam. I bet you if you owned Lyft, you wouldn't be calling it a a scam you absolutely win okay so don't hate on how other people get they they money of course if it's in a good way okay um, they're not out robbing and stealing but um, learn 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 how to do this thing and it, for people th if this is your first time researching uber or researching Lyft um, Man, this is an awesome way to make a secondary income.
it's an awesome way to make a secondary income because you don't have a boss okay you drive when you want you make up your own schedule okay and again it's a partnership and when we go to these schools they don't teach us about being a partner in a business they just they so they they, they do is teach us how to be employees okay that's all they do is try to teach you how to be employees man no be a business owner or be a partner Damn. all right I thought it cut off on me but it didn't all right man look it's